I said it's not my fault, Mum. I heard what you said, Henry. So why won't you believe me? Why should I believe you, Henry? Oh, because I'm telling the truth. I don't believe you, Henry. Well, that's not fair. Life's not fair, Henry. The doorbell's ringing. <laughs> Typical. Even Bogey Brain's getting a parcel delivered, and mine's still not here. We tried to deliver to your house today. My cushion! Why didn't you answer the door, Worm? Don't be horrid, Henry. Because I didn't need to. What do you mean you didn't need to? We've had our delivery today, haven't we, Fluffy Wuffy? Say, soya yoghurt, Fluffy Wuffy. Come on, I haven't got all day to hang around here. Horrid boy. Oh, no, you don't. Saturday job. <laughs> Linda, wake up! Oh, um, like, sorry, Henry. What was it you wanted? I want my cushion. Like, um, your cushion? Yes, you see, it's a very long story. But, so you see, it hasn't come yet, and I thought you might know where it is. Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, like, we haven't got it. What? You haven't got it? Nah, like... Then who has got it? Hmm, looks like... Looks like... <laughs> looks like... It was delivered to Margaret. Margaret! Margaret? Margaret! Margaret, are you in there? Yes, and I want it back. Now! Find his keepers, Henry! Sometimes a boy's gotta do what a boy's gotta do. Especially when there's a cushion involved. Ready for bed, Peter? Yes, Mum. And Fluffy Wuffy's ready for bed too, aren't you, Fluffy Wuffy? Good. Don't forget to plug in the computer thingy, will you, Sweetie Pie Bun? I won't, Mum. <laughs> it's funny how we tried all those different beds for you, Fluffy Wuffy, and in the end you just wanted a simple cushion, didn't you? <coughs> Say I love my new bed, Fluffy Wuffy. <coughs> Scissors, notepad and pen? Check. Boot polish, lucky rotten duck egg, and fake dog poo. Check. I'm going to get you back, Mr. Kill. And then I'll get whoever took you. <laughs> Detective Henry always gets his man. This smells like an inside job. Dodgy dad. But why? Henry! Henry! Ta da! Henry! Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh you really are horrid, Henry! Yeah, Dad. You can run, but you can't hide. 4.35pm. 
Suspect cooking healthy food in kitchen. <gasps> no! Don't cook Mr. Kill! Uh, what? You took Mr. Kill while I was at school! And now you want us to eat him! Don't be horrid, Henry. Look, it's a chicken. Oh. And I was at work when you were at school. Oh. Suspect has alibi. Maybe Mr. Kill left home. You're always throwing him around and stamping on him. Mr. Kill would never leave me! Well then, look in your fort. Maybe you left him there. No! I didn't leave him. He was stolen. Mr. Kill, where are you? I'm in charge because it's my garden. Oh, but you're always in charge in my garden too. Well, somebody has to be in charge around here. Oh, yeah. Now there's someone who has a motive. Moody Margaret. She's always wanted to get me back. Is she going to be all right? She'll pull through. What are you doing to my dolly? You'll pay for this, Henry! Revenge and ransom. Two perfect motives. Moody Margaret kidnapped Mr. Kill. Well, what's wrong with being second in command? It's not first in command, is it? Ah, oh, yes, but it's better than being third in command, believe me. Oh, no! They're burying Mr Kill! Oh, we could both be first in command. That's a stupid idea. Oh, that's it. I'm going home. Well, that's why you'll never be in command. They'll pay for this, Mr Kill. Time capsule? Yes, it's supposed to stay buried for a thousand years. I was looking for Mr. Kill. You took him. I wouldn't want your smelly old Mr. Kill. Now get out, you're trespassing. But someone stole Mr. Kill. Good. Maybe he'll have someone nicer than you to play with. One. Slurping. Yes, Mother. And eat your vegetables. Yes, Mother. Uh, Henry. Good evening, Miss Badlax. I hope you have a scrumptious meal. My, what nice manners. He didn't <laughs> learn those in your class, I'm sure. Alors, only two drops. Le sauce poche is too hot and spicy for the English tummy. Perhaps monsieur is, uh, lust? No, no, uh, my, my cousin forgot to ask for some le sauce poche on his food. I was going to tell the cook. You have told me? I will inform the chef. Good. My cousin really likes spicy food. At least five drops. Yes! Close your mouth, Boudica. I swear I can see right down your gullet. Mother! Excuse me, young man. I hope my daughter is teaching you properly. Mother! Oh, yes, Mom. She does. Goodbye. Oh, that lovely boy. He's so sweet. But, Mother, he's the most horrid boy in my class. And whose fault is that? Finally, our dinner is here. Oh, look, squid. I don't like squid. And I don't like tomatoes. And I don't like beetroots. Oh, Aunt Ruby, you ordered their favourites. Oh, it's so nice to be appreciated. I'm sure you will all enjoy every mouthful. And for Monsieur, the speciality of the house, tripe. 
I wouldn't eat that, not even for two pound. <laughs> Once you've eaten a snail, you can eat anything. Ah, delicious. Eat up, everyone. This is real food. Oh, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Where's your extra hot sauce, Steve? Oh! <laughs> ah! Monica, sit down this instant! <laughs> Madame, you must leave. Your son has caused a great disruption. Well... I'm certainly not staying where I'm not wanted. Neither am I. Bye-bye, Beetroot. But you said I have to finish everything on my plate. Here's your two pounds, Henry. Now, let's go and find some real food. Well done, young man. So polite. Not like your young friend. <laughs> Whopper would be here we come! <laughs> Peter, for the 365th time, we are not going to find the answer on my garden wall. The answer to the mystery can be in the smallest things, Margaret. And anyway, Dad says this is our wall. At least he says it is until something needs doing to it. Funny, that's just what my dad says too. Here, take this. All right then, Margaret. We'll try it your way. My way works. Now, you look up number no number one. Well, what are you waiting for? Get on with it. All right, all right. What are you going to look up then? Hashtag, of course. Reckon we can make it? Hashtag. Whose idea was this anyway? Why is it always up to me? Worth a try. Number known does. What does that mean? It means you are a number known. It's coming from inside the pot. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hashtag here's what's happening. Hashtag hopeless. That's you, by the way. Hashtag mystery solved. Duh, no. Hashtag magnifying glass. You are. Think that makes you Sherlock? Hashtag what do you think? Hashtag do you think? Answer. It's another mystery message. Oh, let me see. It's from the number nose. Oh, what a surprise. Hashtag number nose, how much gnome? How much gnome? How much gnome? Oh, who cares? I'm off to do something more interesting, like watching paint dry. It's me. What do you mean, it's you? I'm number gnome number one. Huh? Because I know the number gnome's number one rhyme. You do? How much gnome would a gnome 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 if a gnome gnome quit gnome gnome? There's nothing to me. Mum! We've solved the mystery of the number gnomes! What was that all about? <coughs> Hashtag number gnomes. Who is number gnome number two? Oh. 
Henry? <laughs> this world is too small to hold. Hey, I was watching that. Henry, I need to talk to you about the rules of the Purple Hand Gang. What? What's wrong with the rules? We need to rewrite them. They're not fair. <laughs> not fair? What do you mean, not fair? I'll tell you about not fair, Peter. Not fair is when you have to get up early every morning and go to school, even though every fibre of your body says that's wrong. And don't talk to me about the weekends, because not fair is when I have to do all the chores before I get to relax and enjoy myself, while you get to go to yoga and ballet and all the things you get to go to. But you don't want to go to ballet or yoga, do you? No! Of course I don't want to! I want to watch TV and read my comics and play Gross Class Zero! And not fair is when Mum and Dad nag nag your vegetables and do your homework and tidy your room and put on your coat and don't play your music so loud and grow up and act your age and tell the truth except when Great Aunt Coretta asks if you like pink stompy jumpers and send you to your birthday and... <sighs> Listen, Peter, you've got to learn that fair is not as fair does. Fair is not really fair at all. In fact, fair does not exist in real life and life is really not fair. Ever. Now, can I carry on watching my TV programme in peace? Oh, uh, yes, Henry. I mean, Lord High Majesty. Aren't you forgetting something, worm? Oh, thank you, Henry. You want to shake on it? The remote control? Oh, uh, of course. So think on that, you liver lily jellyfish. Should have arrived by now. I want a word with you. Ah! I can wait. Worm. Is she Ooh. stalking you, Peter? Sort of. Oh, what have you done, Peter? It's not what I've done, Ted. It's what I haven't done. Come and tell us all about it. I'm still waiting, Worm. He'll be right with you, Margaret. He's just, um, finishing off the document. Well, he'd better hurry up. I haven't got all day. All done. Really? Yes, it was quite easy in the end. Really? Rule number one, no wormy worms, except for Peter. Rule number two, no girls allowed, except for bogey brains who live next door. How do I know this is real? The seal of the Purple Hand Gang. It's official. You better put it in here, then. Thank you, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> 